Hello guys, welcome back to another round of, you guessed it, Lord on the Aftermath. Yeah, that one will be a pretty calm one, because um, there's no reason to celebrate anything. I have 250 subscribers, um, half of them I guess English, the other half um, either German or inactive. So, that's great news I guess. I don't care. And yeah, casting another LTA game because people in the comments of the last part uh, of the last part demanded it. Or parts? I actually don't know. Um, rather I would say subparts uh, because um, yeah, rather parts because um, I don't know. A whole LTA episode is an episode. Yeah. Okay. So now I got it right. Episode is episode and part is part. So um, part is only part of an episode. Yeah, confusing talking. Oh, I lack of any English skills today, don't I? Let's drink some coke while it's loading. You can skip the intro, by the way, if you haven't noticed. That's pretty cool, I guess. And the game is still loading. Oh, and Uther wrote me, by the way, some suggestions under my um, LTA parts or videos, <laughs> I would rather say. You see, parts, videos, episodes, it's so confusing for a non-speaking uh, non user as well, but for a non-English speaking user either. But yeah, Uther posted a suggestion that I should probably take more look on uh, other players as well during my cast, so I don't know, maybe it will make my parts longer on the episodes? Perhaps not. I don't know. We will see. I'm recording the volume. Yeah, I record. Okay, alright. Alright. As I said, pretty calm LTA part. A really long calm LTA part. Still loading. Oh, and by the way, um, the only official LTA YouTube channel is Harold, I guess. That's what the description says. And only Marchmallow and SVNMS are editing. Well, I mean, Marchmallow created it, so that should be fine. Ah, it's starting. Alright. And we already see uh, Rick 632, uh, blah blah blah, you haven't seen him. Uh, yeah, he plays Blood Elves. And we are controlling still the Blood Elves, our city is still Silver Moon, and we still have been decimated by the Scourge. Great! And Ratchet Plague. So yeah, um, as you might have seen on the title, you might guess what is expecting us. So the Outland focus will be again pretty important, which I like. Um, but nonetheless, we will also focus on the other players. As mentioned, Usa criticized me, so yeah, I'm sorry, Usa. I'm not perfect. I'm never said so. So, oh fuck. Yeah, alright. Yeah, so Keltas is talking. And we now take a look into the players. So, as said, we have Wilk 632 as uh, Blood Elves. Then we have Terror as Kame as the Scourge. Um, furthermore, we have Survey Captor as the Burning Legion. Then we have Hard to Read name Kurti83. Okay, I remember the name Kurti at least. So he's currently at Silver Pine within the f first seconds, not surprising at all. Redworm as the Dwarfs of Kasmodan, I repeat. Uh, then we have Diego Captor as the uh, Orange Annihilation Forces of Maxaridon. Lovely, lovely Maxaridon. I can't mention it enough. Zon. Uh, Zon, of course. That's how I spell it. Then we have uh, Morgoth. Mm, I don't know if you want to. Or oh, wait, Morgoth even. Okay, alright. Whatever you wanted to spell, um, you're definitely the Horde. Um, I will nonetheless probably say Morgoth. <laughs> I don't know. Morgoth sounds funny. Uh, then we have Zeoflotzi as the Forsaken. A uh, Plank with a weird number constellation as Cult of the Damned. Hello, Plank. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of the devil, hello, Usa. I didn't know you were also in that game. So, okay. 
Nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. Not in that game. I, I mean, I know on what I have to focus. So, so user. I can't take the time to focus on you solely in that cast. But mayhaps I will do. Mayhaps I will do. Then we have Litmskin, that's the trolls. And we have Camp in D. Okay. Uh, as Dragon Ball. Okay. Weird, weird name. Whatever it is. So, yeah. I would say. We are taking a different approach and now watch Burning Legion doing first of all stuff with Kazakh and um, yeah, the Infernals. Do I wait, 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 before we start this, do I even have sound? Oh god, I don't hear any sound. So probably you will hear it in the video. Alright. So now we can cut. I said we can continue, okay. Oh god, Kelta's way too loud. My god. Oh, and the Treadlords are also teleporting to Outland. That's perfect. While Kages um, is marching that route. Alright, he can do so. Ah, because he's attacking the uh, Twenai creeps. And... I guess... Servi isn't doing anything at the moment. Oh! That's right. He's attacking here. So, ah, because uh, Campin Teddy is directly attacking the Trenor Rift. Okay, that's an interesting tactic, interesting method. Haven't seen that at all. While we have uh, Diego Captor already marching on uh, Dora. Dora. Dora the Explorer. Um, that's how we call that now. Yeah, he's definitely creeping stuff, so that should be alright. Okay, I will now appreciate Uther's nice, nice suggestion. Why we see? Ah! Usa is currently taking that CP. Kalt is not out on open field or got crushed immediately. Um, we can actually check that. Nope! Kalt is on his way to Northland. Alright. So we have focused on Usa. Perfect. Uh, so we have we, yeah, we have already a meeting. Um, then looking at Artis. Oh, creeping as usual the uh, mountain range here. Uh, I actually want to see whether you will confront Usa's units with Garitos. Oh, hey, look, I nearly missed your Garitos action, Usa. Oh, how silly of mine. And I probably also will now mi Oh, God. Uh, Usa, you know you're getting attacked. I'm not sure if he knows. I'm not sure if he knows. Um, so, don't want to alarm you, but your Garitos is surrounded. And Lord and Savior is surrounded. How do you plead? How do you plead? God damn it. You disappointed me. You failed the heart. Uh, the airlines. Like Oh, but now he's doing an interesting move because. Oh, god damn it. For a second I thought you would really do that move like attacking Underhold straight. But apparently. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, we pause again and look at that nice, lovely, lovely arrow over there. We look at yellow. Because, let's face it, we all got our suggestions extra slow cast. So, yeah, yellow moving out with Magni. Perfect. What is Redfarm doing? I mean, has he lo No, no, he's already just losing the Sandal spawn uh, area down here. Alright. That's fine. Um, not having lost Menacel Harbor. Not having lost Loch Modan. Oh, and even he has saved Targas. Oh, okay. So Redfarm knows what he's doing. That's nice. Um, then we look at Zero Flotzi. Yeah, I know. A weird order. Oh, they're breaking into Silver Pine. How unfortunate. Is Dalawan prepared? No, Dalawan is not prepared. Let me guess. You are going new Dalawan. Uh, no, actually not. You are... Oh, you might go new Dalawan by the dungeon. Right? But you might also crash into Scourge Forces, which are besieging... Um, Sasha. I nearly forgot to name. And... Oh! I just realized that you also uh, attack Kalt's units, so um, props to Kalt for actually considering to march down that route. So Scorch definitely knows what's going on. That's good. That's good. That's cool at all. Um, yeah, sorry for that, but I kind of feel the volume is too loud. God damn it. Fawful can't decide. 
He's indecisive. Isn't that just... Uh, I don't know. Uh. Whenever I click pause, it doesn't work out. Okay. Uh, perhaps I switched the buttons or something like that, but normally I think... Uh, whatever. whatever, it's fine. Um, we see Forsaken storming in into Gilneas, um, or at least the Silver Pine area, since Dalaran has not chosen any pass. So I assume... Um, I assume you should choose a pass. No offense, but you definitely should um, choose a pass before... Um, I gotta know that place gets down. Uh, if it's not already going... I don't know. I don't have high hopes for you in that game. Alright, but let's remember, don't get too focused on that action, even though there's action. Trolls doing anything in Sulaman. Nope, Blood Elves liberating their lands. Okay, we already have seen that. Morgov doing something interesting. Uh, nope, creeping. Uh, Tractor, nope. Um, so are we doing something interesting for the moment? Uh, technically, yes, because he's attack. Okay, so we have to fight some witch we focus. Alright, focusing on that one. While we see lovely, lovely defense of Orange against the brutal units of um, Legion, but Legion has to retreat. Or uh, at least he decides to retreat. Oh, he also fought over when Black Hat, most likely suiciding him. That's cool. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, going back to Purple because... Oh, Purple had to flee. Oh, and he already has established Gilneas, but Forsaken on the march. And at the same time, I presume, yep, Scourge won over that place. And with that being done, let's focus on Usa again, because we don't want to see Usa. Oh, Usa won actually the fight up here. Ooh, that was easy, Usa. I'm pretty certain I missed the battle, didn't I? Hm. Oh, neat. And yep, that's totally intended. Okay. And he launched next one, so that should be okay. That should be okay. I mean, he hasn't lost the book at all. Ooh, while we see, right in time, Action going on in Outland. As Maxeridon is actually keeping up his resistance. Here we actually see the Pitlord elites um, surrounding Kazakh. Uh, Maxeridon taking so more damage than Kazakh in my eyes, but it might only be me. Uh, stat wise, I actually. Ha oh, goddammit, Kazakh. You fat big bastard. Uh, nah, Maxeridon is slightly superior, but only slightly. And I I actually don't know from where he gets the damage boost. Most likely, I assume, from the uh, war plates of Azinos. But uh, judging by that... Okay, Kazakh deals more damage than Maxeridon. That's interesting. Armor reduction... Uh, okay. Uh, 32. While on Kazakh... Yeah, sorry that I'm always interested in that one. Uh, he also has the 32. Alright, so that's balanced out. Maybe they're based on the same model. I don't know. Um, ooh. Oh god, Kazakh. Kazakh. Uh, he can't... Oh god, that was close. Oh no, wait! Got Lord back in? Or... No, he actually summoned reinforcements. Or... Did he? I don't know. Oh, be careful. Does it work? Ooh, at the same time attacking. You just be careful. But they're breaking through. Coming from behind, actually. Okay. And Kazakh isn't twisting now. Alright, so... Um, that one... Is safe. Even though the portal goes down. But at the same time, though, uh, Servi is giving you a hard fight. Hmm. Interesting. And then we actually see... Yeah, now he has to retreat. Unless you want to lose... To, oh god, don't... Don't, 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 don't lose Death Rock. Please. Do me a favor and don't lose Death Rock. So, Dragon more. Oh, you lost more gore. What? No, no, wait. Neckwash. Oh, how could you lose Neckwash? Oh, right. <gasps> oh. I actually will pause that video because I want to make an announcement towards the LTA editors. Because whenever I make announcement, LTA editors are gladly taking it. I noticed for several times that dwarves recently tend to 
actually use that tactic, let's say, actually, um, wait a minute. No, actually, they did not build a harbor there, but most likely I assume they tracked over their transport ship from uh, that location, I guess. Uh, or, yeah, they most likely produced here a transport ship off from wherever, or even used that one from the, um, yeah, Manistel Harbor, just to get over. And I once got into the situation when I recently played Dragon Maw, they just got teamed up by both sword and the dwarves, because dwarves go immediately up to Manistel Harbor. Is that intended? I don't know. I don't think that dwarves should be able to defend that base early on, because in the past they never did, and now they are doing it. I mean, come on. The, like, seriously. And I mean, the, look at that. Oh, purple is holding down in south. <laughs> So also adding there. Hmm. That's also interesting. Never saw it in that way. Um, purple is... Yeah, he's a top one. All right. So he's a defeated Guineas. Uh, and defeated Guineas um, has for now no other option than to retreat. Fair enough. But yeah. I don't know. Mayhaps you could create some measurements that uh, Yellow is not supposed to fight up here. Make it easier for Dragon more Because I really feel like he's missing here that uh, little, little tiny force which allowed him to actually insta-kill uh, Menacel Harbor while it was actually challenged to uh, get rid of Targus and Wilma. But hey, might just solely be me. I don't know. Mayhaps Brown is just um, slow in that game. Hmm, whatever. Just let him follow. But at the same time... Um, yeah, Hot actually dealing with that place. I don't know. Yeah, Brown is dead. Definitely dead. I don't know, but since Starcourt got added, I kind of feel like Queen is just focusing down that place so Yellow knows exactly he can focus solely on Brown and then actually finish off Queen. Because... Um, I don't think Queen does stand a chance unless played cleverly out. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Targus, be careful. Yeah, a lot of beer warriors coming, a lot of these siege tanks. Yeah. And your CP gets taken by the Mountain Kings. Ah, cool. Alright, so defense of Dragon Maw Port, I guess. We also wear and see that rarely. In my cast, at least. Even though there's one where there's a really epic defense of Dragon Maw Port, but I don't want to spoil, I don't want to spoil. Um, just saying, um, yeah, let's say episode 5. I guess. Four or five it was. Just look it up. And in worst case, you just have to watch two of my episodes. Oh god. Like, you guys are getting tired of me um, casting LTA. <laughs> Good joke. So, yeah. We get that battle also done. Um, Blood Elves, have you done anything so far? You have liberated Quetzalas. Um, while, yeah, there's not anything interesting on that front. Oof. It's cool that Usa is helping you, so Usa is not doing anything of interest for me currently. Maxarodon, however, killing off that portal, and that might actually be the first cast where we see uh, Orange actually slightly overtaking Outland. That's interesting, even though Servi hasn't given up. He's killing off that Defiled Fountain, which uh, Maxarodon possessed, so that's a good advice on uh, Diego. Definitely be careful with these wells, because um, yeah, they can get aimed down, as you have seen. Which is actually a shame, but hey, that's how the game goes, and I mean, it's kind of fair. Judging by how only Orange does get a heal after defiling the fountain, I guess it's fair. And yes, so Legion has to retreat up. Uh, Dragon Mob base at least destroyed. So yeah, um, at whom can we look? At whom can we look? Uh, Mogov, I guess we looked already at you, but let's look on somebody we always overlook. Trolls. My old no Oh, okay. All right, all right. So you might actually have a task up there with Trolls actually defending Sulaiman. So that entire place is not cleansed out. Um, you're researching most likely a killzone, I guess. Nope, actually not. Uh, do you research Haka? I guess Haka was down there. Oh no! Oh, but the sludge monster got um, possessed by Sylvanas. Oh, that's clever. I love that. 
I never saw the sludge monster getting possessed even so. Uh, Damage-wise it's not that good and damage reduction. <laughs> nah. Not really. Not really good at all. Can I at least defeat these guys? Kill them. Getting your creeps done. While... Um, yeah, so far fighting nothing at all. Yeah, since you're allied with... So uh, we... And... There we see minor conflict with the blood elves, Katas, perhaps not knowing what to do, I don't know. But yeah, having to flee from a scary troll host. What are these? Ah, these are the mana wards. Trolls tend to spam. So I guess Usa as a clever ally might intervene. Um, unless, of course, he... Oh no, wait, there's actually Scourge he has to fight. Alright, alright. Atas on what level, actually? Oh! And he also launched his stuff with Anubavak, Elder Nut Dogs, and a level 7 Arthas. Okay. That's interesting. Hm. Cool. So yeah, Outland fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's good that we planned it in there. Because I kind of feel these are the last moments. Oh, oh god, of Balnasai if everything goes wrong. Yo. Oh god, don't lose Kazakh, please. Out of all things, don't lose Ka Oh god, and one was died. Oh, fu fu Foodable. 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 I don't know what that means, but it means something like, oh shit. That was close. And yeah. Dwenor Rift getting killed off, along with the other things. So that means the Outland fight is actually won by Dark Horde. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Diego. You did a good job. You definitely did a good job. Mayhaps you can utilize that one for a tutorial or just say, um, if you play Dark Horde an OP way, then they might actually win or stand a chance. Mayhaps it has to do something with um, Grand Black Hack and being there. Mayhaps it has to do something with the Siege I saw. Um, Mayhaps it has to do something with <laughs> service units running around in hope that they won't get detected, even so I kind of think they have been detected. I don't know, do you have even stuff left in... Yeah, you have a CP and you have that CP. Okay, alright. That should be okay. And the mattress will get revived. So, I guess pause on the Outland fight for now. Meanwhile, Sylvanas actually marching up to uh, Scotch base, while Usa is not defending at all. Okay, so I guess Usa has retreated back to Kratzalas, I guess. Uh, nope. Ain't seeing it, but I've seen successful assault on Kratzalas, so that's cool. Ah, okay, and Blood Elves are already on that side. Okay. So that's nice. While, where's Usa? Serino. Oh, you are actually at... Why are you holding there? I don't know. In general, I kind of think the position is pretty weird. I mean, okay, it was to be told, you don't see there anything, but mayhaps you could place a scout unit there, so you know, okay, Scotch might march on that side. Well, I can't talk today. Um, and then you can actually place yourself up there, or you can place two sides of the army there, and actually cripple his economy, actually kill off that thing. So he gets warned off. No, I actually don't do that. Um, oh, and at the same time, Blue has probably noticed that uh, Forsaken is marching upon him. No, actually not. Or oh, actually he might see so, because Forsaken are now coming that way. It's always funny to see how Pink is always going up that route. Um, because normally I think it's easier for Pink to claim Hinterlands first, but it might only be my opinion. I don't know. Because I feel like Scourge is always busy with Silverhand, if Silverhand is good. Hm. Might only be me. But at the same time in Hinterland, speaking about them, um, Pawn has claimed these lands, but apparently they won't hold off for long. And speaking of Pawn, oh, he lost Mogor. Okay. S judging by this, this is already a bad start. You should never lose Mogor. I mean, okay, fair enough. You probably lost him due to dwarves having taken it all. So that's not a surprise. Has Hot taken? Nah, they haven't because then I would have spotted Swal. Unless Hot is newbie enough to lose Swal right in the first seconds. Oh! And there we have battle again. Great. I love battle. Especially when trolls are getting slaughtered because I don't like swords. But yeah. 
Catapults at the front line is an interesting decision, especially when get... Uh, okay, I guess you can't see where the front line is, but um, it's still an interesting decision. Judging by the amount of Satan Death Hands knights actually coming behind your back and slaughtering you. Oh my god. Entire host got crippled. You. Hmm. Which transport ship to choose? I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, just... just <laughs> okay, I value your efforts, but still. You should retreat. Even so, he was able to keep them up on a good uh, health amount, so that should be okay. And also 12 berserkers here. But yeah, no chance to stand against the full might of Dalavan. While at the same time you get attacked by... Okay. Okay. Uh, two random transport ships getting hunted down by Kelta's uh, flagship. That's okay. That's okay. While at the same time, Legion, you're not... You're going over the Alterwerk portal. Ooh, okay. But it's an interesting dynamic, to be honest. Oh. Yeah. That's definitely interesting. Especially interesting by judging how uh, Usa will now lose all his CPs because he retreated. Huh. I don't know. Mayhaps that was foolish. Mayhaps that was foolish. Mayhaps. But only mayhaps. So yeah, Diego, my good boy. Ah, you conquered all of Outland? Ooh! Maroon in orange light. Oh, oh he looks actually pretty kind and warm like that. Hmm, that's cool. I love Maroon in that form. So... Okay, you defended that place? I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed actually, I thought Hort took it all. Oh, cool. And you still have that uh, pesky portal tracks. I don't like them. I mean, first level, 15% damage reduction. If you saw another cast of mine, you know what else can happen. Oh, and there's Terran Gorfiend actually summoned in uh, Outland? Okay. So, that means you can summon him wherever you research him. That's cool. Actually, not a good... Uh, uh, you know, not a bad idea, I wanted to say. Not a good idea uh, would mean the opposite. Ah, and some horn was blown? I don't know. Well, the portal tracks are actually... Oh, shit. I mean, just look at that damage, like... <laughs> 300 damage, ladies and gentlemen. Portal tracks being balanced. I even guess they have an AoE attack. I don't know. Um... Oh, and Dwarfs also killing off stuff with the Skybreaker, even so they left alive some stuff. I don't know if that was a wise idea. Okay. While we see um, that place getting attacked. Red's Navy, pretty busy. Uh, purple even there. <gasps> oh, I see why, because Gurch took the sun well. Hmm. Cool. And already up so Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, Blue, I love your style of playing, because that one, that one is actually pretty benefiting you. Why, what is your ally actually doing? Your ally should, ah, he's also there. Ah, so you teleported up, cool. Um, yeah, next one must definitely. All right, oh, that's clever. But I have to say, um, you kind of earn it, because that didn't seem to have defended the Sunwell at all with towers or whatever. Seems to be new to the game. So, where's you, sir? You there? Actually supporting your ally. Oh, that's kind. That's good. Madman? Who? Who is a madman? I went sure what. Uh, so far I don't see where the madness is. But I assume it has something to do with orange. Most likely because you're already standing there. So let's focus on the alliance because all the cool stuff is going on the alliance. Oh, but the horde is also taking stuff up there. Um, judging by that, actually, Legion should also have a good opportunity to strike. Yeah, they definitely have. They have taken Underhaul. So, Flotzi is working pretty well in that, um, yeah, Diego-Flotzi alliance. That's cool. 
something different from the uh, Captor Alliance, which we saw in the last cast. <laughs> Too much Captor, I know. Uh, did I say Servi or the... I never remember, I probably said it correct like in the other cast, but still. <laughs> I don't know. You know whom I mean. Either way, oh, I love it. Blue already fortifying the shit out of that place. Uh, keeping the restored sun well. Will it be enough to hold against the might of the Grand Alliance? I mean, they have not restored Lord of One. They are beatable. They are at 1-1 one, one upgrades. Um, yeah, Blue also has researched some upgrades, I guess. Uh, and there's also Blizzard, casted by, I guess, one of the Dalavan mages. I don't remember which one had it, either Ronin or um, other guy, Anzirim. Um Katas, ooh. Yeah, you get pushed back. You definitely get pushed back. I guess it's also because of those fucking destroyers. Fucking destroyers. Ugh. Always pesky. And even the arcane generators can't do any shit about that. I can tell you that. Ooh. Oh, and but 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 new units are teleporting in. Hmm. Same row. Uh, Red farm is getting. Ooh, yeah. Most likely his ass kicked. <laughs> Don't do it, hot. Don't. Okay. So more action going on. So more action. Oh, because hot is coming up, right? Yeah, hot is coming up. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, you have to deal with that. While we still watch the slaughter at the. Oh fuck! Not the gates of Ironforge at that place. Too late. By the way, I tried. And at the same vote, did Red from lose? No, he didn't lose anything, but still. So Orange is already making his way through the hinterlands of uh, South. Not that hinterlands which you think I might talk about. Um, troll resistance in Quetzalas still up. Okay, that's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> 